The first mission to the International Space Station in 2014 occurred on January 9th, when Orbital Sciences launched the second Cygnus cargo spacecraft atop its Antares rocket from Wallops Island in Virginia. After three days in orbit, the Cygnus, named after the late NASA astronaut C. Gordon Fullerton, arrived at the International Space Station where it was grabbed with the Canadarm2 and birthed to the Navy report on Harmony. A month later on February 3rd, Progress M20M undocked from the Pierce and was deorbited the same day. On February 5th, Progress M22 launched atop a Soyuz U carrier rocket from Site 15 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome on a fast track to the station. Now we have liftoff of the Soyuz rocket, uh, delivering a Progress vehicle, the 54th Progress vehicle to the International Space Station, the 148th launch in support of ISS assembly and operations. Six hours after launch, Progress M22 docked with the Pierce compartment without issue. PM Central Time, as uh, the International Space Station and the Progress spacecraft uh, high above the uh, Atlantic Ocean east of uh, Florida, northeast of the uh, Caribbean islands. Two weeks later, on February 18th, the station crew used Canadarm2 to unberth the Cygnus from the Nadir port on Harmony, and Cygnus fired its engines to move away from the station, and then deorbited where it entered the Earth's atmosphere on February 19th. A month later, on March 11th, Soyuz TMA-10M undocked with Expedition 37 crew aboard. After a successful deorbit, Soyuz TMA-10M landed on the steps of Kazakhstan the same day. Two weeks later, on March 25, 2014, Soyuz TMA-12M launched atop a Soyuz FG carrier rocket from Site 15 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Three, two, one, ignition, and we have a liftoff. Liftoff of Steve Swanson, Oligarch Mayev, and Alexander Skvortsov on a six hour journey to the International Space Station. Originally planned as a fast track rendezvous, an attitude control problem forced the crew to use the standard two day rendezvous orbit. Therefore, Soyuz TMA 12M arrived at the ISS on March 27th and docked to the Poisk module. Two weeks after Soyuz TMA-12M arrived, April 7th, Progress M-22M undocked from the Pierce and spent two weeks in orbit before deorbiting on April 18th. Two days after Progress M-22 undocked, April 9th, 2014, Progress M-23M launched atop a Soyuz U carrier rocket from Site 15 of the Baikonur Cosmodrome on a fast track to the station. Four, three, two, one, ignition, and liftoff. Liftoff of the ISS Progress 55 resupply ship, beginning a fast track rendezvous to the International Space Station. Modifications made to the Less than six hours later, system. Progress M23M docked to the Pierce docking module without issue. On April 18, 2014, SpaceX launched its third Dragon resupply mission, CRS-3, atop the Falcon 9 from Launch Pad 40 at the Kennedy Space Center. Lift off of the Falcon 9. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower.
After the standard two-day rendezvous orbit, Dragon arrived at the station, where it was grabbed and berthed to the Navy report on Harmony. A month later, on May 13th, Soyuz TMA-11M undocked from the Rosviet module with Expedition 38 aboard, who landed back in Kazakhstan without issue. Five days after Soyuz TMA-11M left, Dragon was unberthed and released from the station on May 18th. It performed its deorbit burn and landed in the Pacific Ocean the same day. Ten days later, on May 28, 2014, Soyuz TMA-13M launched atop a Soyuz FG rocket from Site-15 of the Baikonur Cosmodrome on a fast track to the station. Booster ignition. And liftoff. Liftoff of Reed Wiseman, Max Sarayev, and Alexander Gerst, the international crew on their way to the International Space Station. After just four orbits, Soyuz TMA-13M docked to the Rosviet module. The next launch took place two months later, when on July 13, 2014, Orbital Science launched its third Cygnus, Janus Voss, atop an Antares rocket from Wallops in Virginia. Service to the International Space Station. Attitude is nominal. Core pressures are nominal in the fuel tanks. Power is nominal on the engine. Altitude one thousand feet. DVC nominal. Attitude is nominal during flyout. After a three-day orbit, Janus Foss approached the station, where it was grabbed by the Canadarm, and berthed to the Navy report on Harmony on July 16th. A week later, Progress M23M undocked from the ISS on July 21st, 2014, and was deorbited on July 31st after participating in the radar progress experiment. Two days after Progress M23M undocked, July 23, 2014, Progress M24M launched atop a Soyuz U carrier rocket from Site 15 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome on a fast track to the station. Four orbits later, in progress, M24M docked the Pierce module without issue. Less than a week later, on July 29, 2014, the European ATV named Georges Lemaitre launched up an Ariane 5 rocket from Kourou, French Guiana. Allumage des deux EAP et décollage. Tous les paramètres à bord sont normaux. After two weeks in orbit, the ATV arrived at the station and docked with the Svezda aft port. On August 15th, the Janus Voss Cygnus craft was unberthed from the Navy report on Harmony and released where it performed a deorbit burn and re-entered the Earth's atmosphere over the Pacific Ocean. On September 10th, Soyuz TMA-12M undocked from the Poisk module, ending the Expedition 40 mission and transferring control of the station to Expedition 41. Soon thereafter, Soyuz TMA-12M executed a deorbit burn and began re-entry, landing successfully on the Kazakh steppe without issue. On September 21st, 2014, SpaceX launched the Dragon atop a Falcon 9 rocket from the Kennedy Space Center for CRS-4. 
After successfully conducting its duties, the first stage of the Falcon 9 re-entered the atmosphere to test how the booster would perform for future booster landing attempts. After the standard two-day rendezvous orbit, the Dragon approached the station, where it was grabbed with the Canadarm2 and slowly berthed to the Nadir port on Harmony. Two days later, on September 25th, Soyuz TMA-14M launched atop a Soyuz FG carrier rocket from Site-15 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Five, four, three, two, one. And liftoff. Butch Wilmore, Alexander Semikutiaev, and Elena Sarova now making their way to the International Space Station. After achieving orbit, the port panel on the Soyuz failed to open, but since it was on a fast track, the battery wouldn't need to be recharged before the crew docked with the station, which it did on time. During the docking with the Poisk, a slight shaking of the spacecraft was enough to activate the release mechanism on the stuck solar panel, and it completely deployed. After a month docked to the station, on October 25th, the crew grabbed Dragon, unburthed it from Harmony, and released it. Soon thereafter, the Dragon moved away from the station, performed its deorbit burn, and landed in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of California. On October 28, 2014, Orbital Sciences prepared for a night launch of its Antares rocket at Wallops Island in Virginia with the Cygnus Orb 3 named after famous NASA astronaut Deke Slayton, enclosed in the pharynx. Fifteen seconds after liftoff, the Antares first stage suffered a propulsion failure and began falling back to the launch pad. The range safety officer engaged its flight termination system just before impact. Initial review of the telemetry data found no abnormalities in the pre-launch or the launch sequence in the flight until at least the time of failure. Subsequent investigations found that the LOX turbo pump had exploded, which caused a cascade event and the shock wave severed surrounding propellant lines and started a fire from leaking fuel. The fire damaged various components in the thrust section, leading to the engines gradually being shut down, although a specific reason for the failure couldn't be determined. Possible causes were a defective pump bearing, ingestion of loose debris, or a manufacturing defect. As a result of the failure, the next two Cygnus would launch on the Atlas V rocket while Orbital Sciences moved away from the AJ-26 engine to the RD-181, and wouldn't fly in Antares again until 2016. On October 27, 2014, Progress M24M undocked from the Pierce module and spent over a week in orbit before being deorbited on November 19th. Two days after the undocking of Progress M24M on October 29, 2014, Progress M25M launched atop a Soyuz 2.1A rocket from Site 316 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on a fast track to the station. This was the first time the upgraded Soyuz 2.A1 rocket was used for an ISS mission launch, which includes several upgrades mainly to the core booster engines and a conversion from analog to digital flight control systems. Less than six hours after launch, Progress M25M docked with the Pierce module without problems. On November 10th, Soyuz TMA-13M, with the Expedition 40 crew aboard, undocked from the Rosfiat, moved away from the station, and deorbited, landing safely in Kazakhstan the same day. The last launch of 2014 occurred on November 23rd, when Soyuz TMA-15M launched atop a Soyuz FG rocket from Site-316 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome on a fast track to the station. We have liftoff of the Soyuz rocket with TMA-15M. Three new crew members 
headed to the International Space Station, Anton Shkoplerov, Samantha Cristoforetti, and Terry Virts on their way to a six-month voyage aboard the International Space Station. Less than six hours after launch, Soyuz TMA-15M docked to the Rossviet module, and the crew began Expedition 42. Two thousand fourteen had been a busy year for the station, and two thousand fifteen promised to be no different. 